hello what's up youtube photographer ronnie sweater now and this tutorial i'll show you i can easily use the empty layer within my frequency separation action group to simply match or even out skin tones or to even out skin color in your images then you can also use it to correct the light and contrast issues regarding the image by simply painting color to correct or fix those lighting issues so in this tutorial we're going to be focusing on that and before we proceed I request that you hit the like button on this video because it is going to help you to push and comment this video to many people out there and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're a new viewer out there. So basically if at all would love to purchase my actions, simply check the links in the description to support the channel by purchasing my retouching sessions pack and this action is going to be included in that retouching pack. So first of all, what we want to do for this kind of situation we want first of all correct the light and contrast issues regarding the image before you can go ahead and match the skin colors in this image. So I'm just going to duplicate the background layer by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard or you can use Command J. Then I'm just going to get this tool right here, the quick selection tool. And then make sure it is on the add selection icon right here. And sample all layers and enhance edge is not checked. So I'll simply make a selection on the area I want to correct so i'm just going to left click and drag down and select this area then i'll come to this second leg and also make a selection so i'm left click and holding down and dragging so if i thought it has selected extras hold down the option key for mac then if i try using windows it is the alternate key and simply subtract the extras you can reduce on the size of the tool by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so i'm just going to select just like that and when you feel like you're comfortable with the selection and it is okay you can increase and deselect these other extra areas so i just want to make sure that i have the right selection so after i've done this so to subtract you hold down the alternate key and to create a selection simply drag with the plus tool selected so after that i'm just going to come to the adjustments and i simply select my brightness and contrast so simply i'll just brighten up this image a little bit and take out the contrast just like that so if i think is to correct the brightness and contrast regarding this image and you can see before and after for just doing that so after doing that the skin is still not looking even so i'll match these layers by pressing shift ctrl e then you can press shift command if at all you are using mac so i'll simply come to actions and i play my 16-bit frequency separation action since this is a 16-bit image so i'll simply play this and when it comes to this step simply take the radius all the way down and you look for an area that has more textures than the rest of the image and take up the radius until when the the details in the image are just starting to disappear it is the same technique that we use when you're trying to retouch images using frequency separation so at round five that is okay now just press okay and the action is going to continue running so right now we have applied the action and it has added a check layer but this is not the most important emphasis for this tutorial the emphasis is this empty layer which is between the high and low frequency layer but before we proceed we just simply want to retouch the image so I'll turn this off and get the low frequency layer and come and get the mixer brush tool. And for those that would love to get a detailed video, I have something about retouching. So I'll just make sure it is right here. New, this option that says clean the brush after each and stroke is selected. The weight is 9, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%. Sample all areas is not turned on. And I'll simply blend the skin first so this is going to ease and help us have less to do regarding the contrast and light fixing issue that we want to do on this image so mix colors that are looking alike so to mix you left click and hold down and you mix colors that are having the same level of contrast or the same value regarding the contrast in the image so i'm just going to come and mix those areas you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the brush so in, to increase or decrease on the size of the brush simply use 
the bracket keys on the keyboard so i'm just going to rush through this process because i don't want this to be a long tutorial i just want it to be a very short and very informative kind of tutorial so when you're done fixing this and retouching these areas the next thing is going to be removing or cleaning out the blemishes from uh, the skin area so right now i'm working on evening out the skin tones or a skin color so that we can have a nice transition between the skin color so right now we are done doing this like i said i'm rushing through this so we are done blending the skin color and this is the before and after before after it looks great but still we are yet to fix the issues so get the high frequency line and get the clone stamp tool and make sure sample is set to current layer so just want to remove the blemishes or skin imperfections using the clone stamp tool so i'll just hold down the alternate key to sample and paint over the blemishes that i want to remove from this image so make sure that you clean up the image and you do this process of cleaning up before you can even the skin cut tone scalp and also a skin color rather for your image so i'm just going to do this quickly i'm sorry if at all i'm being fast enough because i just want to get into the most important point for this tutorial so right now we are done retouching the image this is a before after so now we just want to use the empty layer so just come and select the empty layer and come under the brushes right click and get the normal brush tool so this amount is the normal brush tool but for retouching we use the mixer brush tool so after getting the brush tool make sure the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected opacity we are going to be using an opacity of 10 percent or you can use a lower opacity and the flow of 100 percent we have to zoom in slightly so in order to even out the skin color we just want to sample and paint so before you sample and paint come and select the eyedropper tool and make sure it is set to 5x5 five five average so select 5x5 five five average and get the brush once again so we want to sample and paint color so what this is going to do since it is between the colors and textures it won't be affecting or hiding the textures so what we're going to do we're just going to come and hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so you sample from an area so if i told this dark area I want you want to fix it you sample for a brighter area that is close to that area so by holding down the option key on the keyboard or the alternate key on the keyboard you sample so left click and sample and you can see it has sampled that color so you just come and start painting so we sample from an area that is close or nearby and come and paint sample paint so you sample from nearby or close so that it can be natural enough you don't sample from a very distant area you sample from an area that is close or nearby so i'm just going to zoom out and continue doing this process so you have to use a relatively small brush because you don't want to use a very big brush so it has to be gradual so you keep on sampling and painting depending on the area that you're trying to fix and work on in your photos so i'm just going to come and sample from here and try fixing this dark area on the knees just like that sample and paint sample paint so you have to be patient regarding this process because we just want to fix something that wasn't fixed right in camera so you have to be very careful while uh, doing this and you know fixing things takes time when it comes to photoshop so always make sure to get it right in camera and if at all you can't get it right in camera we can try and fix it like we are doing right now so you can see the quick before after before after we can also come this side and copy and paint just like that copy from here and paint in this area copy paint copy paint copy and paint you can see how this is getting better and how it is brightening up this area so copy paint just like that so you can see it now looks better and now the skin looks even so you can copy from here and paint 
on the lower side of the leg if at all you want to fix those areas and you can see this looks better so you can see the before after just zoom out so that's the before after before after you can see how you have even changed the lighting and the contrast of this very image so this is how you can use the empty layer in my frequent separation actions to match skin tones and fix the lighting issues regarding the images and this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating